Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running traffic, an HTTP reverse proxy and load balancer in Docker. To get started, log into the host that will be running Docker. We'll first install a few prerequisite packages that are required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. And then use the apt install command to install Docker in Containerd. With the Docker packages now installed, we'll set the Docker service to be started and enabled, add the current user to the Docker group, and then re-authenticate the current user for the changes to take effect. We now have Docker installed and running. We'll create a working directory for the traffic container. Then we'll create a traffic.yaml configuration file. Copy and paste the configuration from the video description. Then update the Docker host fully qualified domain name in the Docker default rule. Save the changes to traffic.yaml and exit out of nano. Next, we'll use the docker run command to start the traffic container pointed at our configuration file. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8080, to reach the traffic web dashboard. With the basic configuration that we're using, traffic will monitor docker for new containers and automatically set up a reverse proxy when a new container is running. To quickly test this functionality, we'll use the docker run command to start the traffic who am I container. Traffic will see the new docker container and automatically provision a reverse proxy for it based on the container name. We can run an additional test by starting an Apache web server container using the docker run command. As we can see, traffic will see the new Apache container and automatically provision a reverse proxy for it based on the name we gave the container. These examples are really just scratching the surface of what traffic can provide, and we haven't even touched on the load balancing features. 